hello guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to be looking at task 18 oh okay um the question says that we should open the file saved in task 18 m so if you have not done uh this task please um just check the the links i left below okay you will see it right there you can do the task or the other tasks that leads to this okay so um this question will require us to have uh, to do a runtime calculation so basically i'm going to be showing us how we can do runtime calculation okay so um we're, we're meant to produce an extract right and the, the first field the first the first field we're going to calculate will be a profit which will uh, subtract um purchase price from the sales price okay so we're going we're going to do this in this order okay so i'm gonna do this, this i'm gonna do the first one and then come back and do the second one okay so you can go ahead to read the question if you want to uh, i've read the question quite a number of times so i'm not gonna i will not bother reading the question so we go in immediately so right here i've already saved my um you know i've already done that task so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna open the query right there okay i'll go to my uh design view right uh let me just move this a little bit down so that i'll be able to see all the fields right so to do a runtime calculation i'm going to go to my design view and make sure i'm on uh, the field row here okay um let me just shift it a little more just for the sake of it all right so i'm going to have um so the first one says profit so i'm going to have profit right here okay and put a colon now whenever when, whenever you put a colon access gets ready for your telling access that the next thing is what a formula all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to have a square bracket i'm going to open a square bracket okay and have s price right there of course so s price minus purchase price that's what it's supposed to be okay so i'm going to close the um square bracket and then put my minus and then open the square bracket again to have another field okay um i'm gonna have p price right there okay um the p price i don't think it says it's um uh case sensitive even if you put a lower lower case um you know uh letters there it's still okay but the spelling has to be right for it to work okay so when you put when you put uh, the fields in a square bracket like this access will be able to know exactly where to get the values to do the calculation for you all right so um so i put the formula and i hope everything is correct so i will run my i'll run my query and then everything is correct now uh as you can see this is the, uh, the profit and then you see the calculation of uh, the sale uh, the sale price man or the purchase price now in most cases i will advise i'll advise you to use calculator to probably punch in uh, you know do calculation for probably two or three records just to be sure that you know what you have is correct but i think i'm I'm pretty confident that what my values are correct so i'm good with that all right so um i'm going to simply go back to my design view again to do the second one so the second one says um uh so which means that the field has to be per percent and then of course it's going to do the percentage uh, profit and then the question says that this field will divide the profit okay the profit by sale price right good stuff so i'll go back there and then i have um so the name of the field will be percent and of course colon we we'll have colon and then open our square bracket and then have profit right there profit and then close our square bracket again and then divide which is the forward slash and then open our square bracket again and then have our s price uh, let me just do it exactly how it is i always like to do it exactly how it is i don't know why okay so i'm gonna close that okay I'm going to close that and then run my formula uh you can just adjust this to just to be sure that it shows all right so this is how you you're going to do this now the the main aim of this uh question is to show us how we can do runtime calculation which we have done here 
okay so in subsequent times of course you will see how you can format your values or format your columns and stuff like that all right so i'm going to go back right there so what i'm going to do here now is to save this uh query right i'm going to go to file and then go to save as now i'm going to save it as object because i still want it in, in this database then save as of course query so instead of 18m i'm going to have 18o there all right because i'm I had a question we might have questions that will refer us to this to this task all right so that's why you have to save it save your work uh evenly all right uh so i'll okay that now i'm gonna have something like this so let me just say it did that a little bit so you have to close your work before you can make changes so i'm gonna right click on it and then go to rename and then probably remove this copy of so i can have it like this okay so that is how you do uh, runtime calculations. Please, if you have any, any question or any addition, please, you can leave uh, a comment down below. All right. So that is it for that. So I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and share. All right. Take care of yourself. Bye.